but yes, at some point I will be able to pull back the curtain like, oh, he's not a lazy piece of crap. He's just working <laughs> on stuff that he's not allowed to talk about right now. Perfect. So obviously you get the intrigue with that, then you're probably get everybody maybe like me too, feeling the shame that we ever thought you were a slacker. We thought, oh, oh yeah, you will, you, you'll be filled with shame and despair. Like how could we have doubted him? I'm a monster. Yeah. And I hear that buying more of your books is, is a great cure for that shame. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. A lot of people are going to be like, I'm so ashamed of what I did that I just need to go back and buy the whole back catalog and apologize profusely in writing and not an email, a written handwritten letter saying, I'm sorry, I thought you were lazy. <laughs> and then put that at the end of a review and post that on Amazon. Right. <laughs> Perfect. Now, are you able to hint at all? I mean, is this kind of book related stuff or, or sort I, of movie related stuff? It's movie related stuff. Okay. And okay. it also involves lots of massive rewrites because stuff will change. And then it's not like, oh, what you've done sucks. It's like, hey, this situation has changed and now you have to do a completely different version. So there's a lot of stuff that will never, you know, no one will ever see that I've, you know, done one version of and then situation changed and I did a completely different version. So there's okay. lots of work that's being done that no one will ever actually get to enjoy. But yes, it's movie related stuff. So. Okay, cool. Yeah. And I like that too, because I know, of course, you've got, um, you've already done, you've had some success with some movie related stuff uh, already. I know you've, and you've written some scripts. I think I'm trying to remember if you once told me that uh, you often do write scripts for a lot of your stories, just in the case that or the chance you may ever have to go back to them again if you do get some interest in that area that you're not a complete newbie that you've got something ready to go that you know of course no it was pretty much that. i started out as a screenwriter and never sold anything never had anything option but i did about a dozen scripts before i started really focusing on uh, fiction writing okay. i was doing both but it, there was a point where i just went all in on fiction writing so the scripts that have happened since then have been you know, where someone said, you know, hey, are the rights to this book available? Would you be interested in writing the script for it? And then, you know, nothing worked out. I had pressure, my book optioned, where I did a like five completely different drafts of a screenplay for that, but yeah. nothing happened with it. And then one of the projects I'm allowed to talk about, I did screenplays. One of the reasons for the long gap in books is that I did screenplays for um, The Greatest Zombie Movie Ever and yeah. Cutter. And those were done for a company called Binge Brothers Productions up in Canada. Okay. And, um, you know, thus there's so my part is done for now. I've turned in those scripts. <laughs> those I'm allowed to talk about. Now that's like their problem, what happens with them. So that's like two major projects that I wrote and completed that don't actually translate into published books and make me look like a lazy slacker. Right. Yeah. There's other stuff that I'm not allowed to talk about. Those two I am. So, you know, you may see a movie based on Cutter. You may see a movie based on the greatest zombie movie ever. But, you know, or you also may not. The, gotcha. One of the things is if I write a book, if I like, if you know, if I say, yes, this book is up to my standards, the book's going to come out. Whereas with the screenplay, you know, either you need to get funding. There's all kinds of stuff that right. goes on where it could all completely fall apart. So it's a lot of work that you know, may amount to nothing, but it may also amount to vast riches and great fame. So you, it's like, it's worth doing just in case. So, right. And it's another feather in your cap as well. Another way to express your work. And, and I think that's a good thing. Another way to get paid too, even if it doesn't come to anything, which you hope it does, but. It's... Right. And I also, I, but I don't just say, let's write a screenplay based on this book. It's always with some sort of interest. And I did an original screenplay a uh, filmmaker in Austin reached out and said, would you, you know, I would love to have you write something original, a you know, feature length screenplay. So I did one called Bloodsucker Town. Okay. So, you know, at some point you may be watching a movie called Bloodsucker Town and at some point, you know, you may not, but it's a fun vampire horror comedy script and you know, something may happen, something may not. So, Very cool. And, and how long do they have to, to do something with it before the, uh, you know, before the, the rights for that, um, I guess, they, you know, go back to you and, uh, and I, like, is it generally about a year or two? It varies by the contract. It kind of varies on whether or not you are paid for it. 
So um, like greatest zombie movie ever and um, Cutter, I will get back. I don't remember exactly what it is, but I'll get those back pretty soon. Uh, Bloodsucker Town, I was paid for. Not a ton, but I was paid for it. So that, I think there's a longer stretch. And the one that I'm working on now is uh, Union Writers Guild of America rates. Mm. And so that one, I won't get back anytime soon because I'm being properly compensated for it. So it's kind of like they will own it for a pretty long stretch of time because it's okay. paid work. So whether the movie comes out or not, I was properly, you know, I was well compensated. So good, good. I'm happy to hear that. Um, and if it's a going through, expect. a lot of it is just, you know what, I, it may not amount to anything, but if it does, it's good. This one is actually a paid writing assignment, even though it's based on one of my books. It's sort of like work for hire based on a book that I have already written. So, okay. And considering who's deal. on, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. And I think that'd be really cool to see some of your, uh, your wacky characters on, on the screen. It's going to be pretty awesome. Um, does that mean that they probably end up getting, uh, if it does come to fruition, they'd get um, uh, SOG actors uh, involved with that as well then? Yeah, so it's a union? full union big studio motion picture. So. Okay, okay, that'd be very, very cool to see that. And uh, with your, because I know you get to agree to whatever contract you want, um, and I know you can only say so much, but regarding the movie stuff, does that, once you're like, okay, great, we've got a, you know, we've got a director for this, we've got some actors in mind, that sort of thing, um, let's revise the script or, or what have you. Would, are you on board as well to kind of get the final approval to say, no, that's not my story. You completely ruined it. Are you able to say, no, this guy wouldn't say that or wouldn't do this if they make changes? Um, I will say the creative team behind it is very respectful, very open to feedback. They have no interest in ruining the book, oh, but actually I have no say in that at all. Like right. if it is a, if it comes to a conflict, I lose. Gotcha. Like, I'm the writer. I am the low person <laughs> on the totem pole. So no, I do not get to flex my muscles and say, <laughs> no, you're doing it my way. No, they're doing it their way. But they have been Perfect. very respectful and I have you know, had lots of creative input. But no, ultimately, I do not contractually. I have no power at all. I am, I am a hired writer and I'm lucky that they listen to me. So. <laughs>